Hi everyone and welcome. It's great to have you here. Guess what I'm making? <laughs> you probably already know, don't you? But I'm going to use up the rest of my donkey milk uh, that I got earlier this year and make a rose geranium soap. Something that I've had four different requests for just in the last month. So how can I refuse? One of the wonderful things about donkey milk is that it has a huge audience, mostly um, in children's nutrition, because there are children who can't tolerate other types of milk that actually can benefit from donkey milk. And that's why it's sometimes harder to come by, depending on what part of the country you're in. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and start adding my lye solution. And break this down into a beautiful donkey milk lye solution for this soap, which is going to just be fragranced only with rose geranium. Uh, I personally am not a huge fan of it, of that fragrance, but like so many things, personal taste plays a part in most, you know, what I may like, you may not like, and what you may like, someone else may not like. Maybe there's some things we all like, right? One moment. I'm just gonna add a splash of water. That's just to activate it so it starts melting our wonderful milk. Oh, this container I'm using was a gift from one of my wonderful subscribers. I was so I've never used one of these, certainly in this shape. There's actually a set of three of these that I got. And, and I am so grateful. Um, I don't ask people for anything uh, other than what you want to give by just being here, watching an occasional commercial. Uh, there are some people on my that do are on my Patreon channel, which I really appreciate, or a Patreon account. <laughs> It's not a channel, I suppose, which I haven't figured out completely. Uh, I'm still trying to figure Patreon out myself. Um, but basically, you know, it just allows people to give you a monthly tip for what you do. And I think that's such a nice thing, but it's not something I ask for. Um, but as far as making soap goes, I would do it whether there were any money in it or not. Probably not as much, not as often. Um, right now, my business is going really well. I will tell you that most of my sales are like the tallow lotion, uh, tallow cream that I make, and goat milk lotion. I, let's see, I sold last month, the month of February, 240 bottles and jars, or two, 120 jar, 100, I'll get it right here, 160 jars of the tallow, and 180 bottles of goat milk lunch. that's it. Uh, and so far this month, I've sold even more of that, and it's only the 18th. I am amazed. Uh, and I don't know why business is so good, Maybe it's people anticipating their stimulus checks, I don't know. Or just a lot of people stuck at home, you know, due to, or were stuck at home, certainly, due to COVID. Uh, maybe that's part of it. Anyway, someone sent me this. That's where I was going, where I started with this. This and two others, and I was so very thrilled to get this. 
something I wouldn't have bought for myself because I, quite frankly, just can't use what I have. And I've been very happy with that. But I really like this. I like that it's um, square rather than round uh, for this purpose, I think, because I'm getting less splash. Uh, because you're not doing, when it's round, I go really quick. <laughs> and here, because of the square sides, I'm just kind of moving around. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get this the rest of the way melted, and then we'll bring our oils and butters into this. Oh, and by the way, thank you for the birthday wishes. Yesterday was my birthday. Um, I'm now <laughs> officially really old. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm not really old, but I'm getting there, right? But I feel better now. I'm going to tell you. I feel better now than I have felt most of my life. I feel happier. I feel healthier. Yes, I get the occasional feel bad, be a little sick or something, but that is few and far between. Oh, I'll get the occasional uh, hiccups here and there, as it were, but I'm on no prescription medications. Um, I take my blood pressure a couple times a day still, just to be sure, um, because I want to catch it. I'm at that age where if you do have something, you want to catch it quickly. So I do take my blood pressure daily, um, sometimes twice a day, and it is great. I'm certainly below the standards, and I, I think it's just genetics. It's not because of anything I do. I do eat a lot of vegetables but I'm certainly overweight. I talked to you all earlier last year about I was going to start another channel on weight loss and I was going to document all that. And like so many people, I think, that plan on dieting or exercising and losing weight, I have procrastinated far too long and haven't started that. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that I'm doing something that I'm not. Um, but I do want to not start a channel so much as I do want to exercise. I don't think I need to eat better. I think I eat really well, actually. It's just that I'm, even though, yes, I have a farm, I'm still rather, rather sedentary. The job that I have has me in a chair 8 to 10 to 12 hours a day sometimes. Usually not that long, but on occasion. But it's always, you know, 8 hours. I may be able to get up a few minutes every now and then, but... Most of that time is spent sitting, very sedentary, so that's the worst thing you can do. I've heard some people say that's worse than smoking, and perhaps it is. Um, and I, I want to try to change that. All right, this is nice and melted. If you're wondering why it has kind of this camel color, this uh, it is strictly due to the diet of these donkeys. And... Different animals have different dietary requirements, eat different plants. Um, the donkeys snack on different kinds of trees and things. All these things affect the color of the milk. All right, so it's good melted now. So I'm going to move this aside and then we're going to get our oils and we're going to put this together. All right, let's get our milk lye solution into our oils and our butters. That is so rich and delicious. <laughs> Good stuff. So, I'm going to be coloring this with some rose clay that I've just got in with some of the oils. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and just add that in now. This color will lighten the substantially in the soap.
this is 20 pounds, so it's pretty heavy. <laughs> and I always make a mess on the very first pour, but I'm going to try to be very, very careful. But I overshot it a little bit. <laughs> I'm just having fun. You know, even these petals are fragrant. Hi everyone and welcome back. It's time to cut this. <laughs> it came out great. The color is the color of pink that I wanted. The flowers I think look pretty great. Uh, it's another simple soap of delicious donkey milk though and this rose geranium essential oil which is, as I've stated is not one of my favorites actually smells wonderful <laughs> it really does in this soap uh, the smell is coming across just wonderful now because i don't want the flowers to drag through i'm actually going to turn it upside down because i don't have any design on top that's going to be harmed by that i've already cut one loaf of it just so you can see it's it's a pink bar soap <laughs> with the flowers. But uh, one of the things that I'm so happy about is that that fragrance is not cloying or overwhelming, which I think the essential oil is to me. That's just my taste. But in here, because I did use a wonderful safe amount, it doesn't have that. It smells very nice. Anyway, and I'm just very impressed. I was so afraid it would be that just really sickingly sweet floral, but it's not at all. It smells fantastic. And, um, oop, I messed up a, the corner there and cut it a little funky on that one, but I'll just send it through the shaver, uh, through the beveler to fix that. But yeah, I like the color very much. That's such a great color, pink. But I hope things are going well with you all. I finally found out that because I aged a bit, <laughs> I'm gonna take these off actually. These have ridges on it, which are actually scraping the soap. They're great for doing most of my tasks, but for this, not so much. Um, where was I going with this? Oh, yes. The COVID vaccination. I am had a birthday and uh, that has nothing to do with my eligibility, but they've lowered the, a, the eligibility age and that means that people my age can now get the COVID shot. And I am so excited about that. I'm ready to start living some semblance of a normal life again <laughs> you know getting out and being amongst others and so 
And I realize that that doesn't mean that we don't wear masks or that we don't still do some social distancing. I'm all for that. And I just, I, I would love to go to a movie. I would love to go out and eat. Even though those are things I don't do very often anyway, certainly haven't in a year, um, I would enjoy doing again. So that's the main reason uh, I think it's good to get vaccinated. Not for my protection, but for the protection of everyone else that I may come in contact with. In the event I did get it, let's say you get it and you don't, and you're not, you don't have any of the symptoms, you feel fine, you could still give it to someone else that had not been vaccinated. So that's another great reason to get vaccinated, uh, even if it's something that you don't, you know, if you're not afraid of getting it, you should still get it to protect others. Yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with the lovely pink color. These are exactly what I wanted them to be. They are it, so that's good news. Um, but I won't bore you with cutting these. There's nothing that varies that much in them, but I think they smell tremendous. And I'm a big fan. I kind of like some of the rose clay settled at the bottom and gave these neat little speckles. I really like that. Um, you know what I might do next time is once I've colored the soap, is throw in some more and we'll kind of suspend it in the soap. I'd, I think this would be pretty throughout the soap. I think especially in a soap like this with the flowers, um, the floral scent, it really plays nicely with that. All right. So anyway, messy soap. <laughs> All these flowers are everywhere. But what's nice is when you get something like this home, um, if you buy a soap like this or any soap that has botanicals on it, don't embed them into the soap where the person can't easily remove them. I know I've done this in the past myself and I've seen other people like put lemon slices or orange slices down into the soap. That's not a good idea. Cut, cut the slice in half and just set it right inside the very top where it's easy to remove for them because once they get wet and things that if they don't dry fully they can cause mold growth on top and things like that. So I always do them very thinly just on top so they're easy to remove if someone wants to. They can take a knife and just cut off the top if they want and use it in a drawer like a sachet. Or they can just leave them on there and just wash them off in the shower. <laughs> I just think that they add a nice little touch. That's all. I like them. And they don't turn brown on the top. These will keep their wonderful color. Now, if you put them inside the soap, they would absolutely turn brown and be icky. But use them like this. They will stay rather nice. Well, everyone, it's been a lot of fun putting this together. I hope you enjoyed it. Donkey milk, I think, is just wonderful, and this wonderful rose geranium essential oil, I think, is just such a wonderful accompaniment. Hope you enjoy. These will be in the shop uh, at the end of April. So have a fantastic day, everyone, and I'll see you back soon. Goodbye. <laughs>